Mascots rarely make the highlight reel, but when they do, you know something crazy must have happened. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most ridiculous mascot moments. Before we begin, if you're a sports fan, check out The Lineup, a hockey trivia game show with a WatchMojo twist. For this list, we're looking at the craziest incidents involving mascots at sporting events. Some of these may have been staged, but they're funny nonetheless. Good news is, although slightly deflated, the mascot was okay. Number 10, Benny the Bull proves chivalry's not dead. Seemingly completely unaware that he's on the Jumbotron, this Celtics fan grows more and more agitated as his partner attempts to get his attention, and even appears to yell at her at one point. That's when Chicago Bulls mascot Benny the Bull appears. He shoves the Celtics fan, pours a drink over his head, and carries the girl away, to the delight of everyone. If you thought this one was too good to be true, you're right. It was confirmed as fake by the Bulls PR team. Still a good one, though. Number 9. Mackerel Jordan Eats It Although not affiliated with any one specific team, Mackerel Jordan is quickly making the case that he should be. In this particular clip, the mascot begins entertaining the crowd between innings before approaching a grounds worker who's raking the infield dirt. The pair engages in a game of fetch before the worker pulls the classic hidden ball trick. But this doesn't sit so well with the fish, who immediately swallows the unsuspecting worker before eventually spitting him back out, albeit with slightly less clothing. Number 8. Crunch the Timberwolf Needless to say, this is not the feature game this afternoon. Mascots playing football against children is one of the stranger traditions in pro sports. But right or wrong, it is absolutely hilarious. Who doesn't love seeing someone wearing a giant gopher costume stiff-arming a 10-year-old kid on his way to a touchdown? Check out the gopher right here. Now he's straight-arming this kid. Come on, man. In this particular instance, Crunch the Timberwolf gets a little antsy and jumps the snap count, bursting through the line before the ball has even been snapped to hammer the defenseless quarterback. Check out my man Crunch the Timberwolf. Used to be one of my favorite. Jumps the line, dives on the young quarterback. By the way, Crunch was voted Mascot of the Year for 2011-2012, obviously. Number 7. Rollerblading Raptor Takes a Tumble, Twice The one, the only, yeah, Raptor! For whatever reason, NBA mascots tend to push the boundaries when it comes to their job, taking risks that baseball or football mascots likely never would. Case in point, that time the Toronto Raptors mascot decided it would be a good idea to rollerblade down the stairs of the Air Canada Centre. Impressively, he nearly made it the entire way, before slipping and falling on his rear end. Undeterred, he picks himself back up and continues onto the court before fully face-planting. Yeesh, even inside an inflatable costume, that's gotta hurt. Number 6. Mulane Walker's Mascot Blender I don't guess he can see very well on that outfit. Mulane Walker is an incredible athlete and an Olympic hurdles champion. She was perhaps at her best during the 2009 World Championships in Berlin, where she won the gold medal with a time of 52.42 seconds, the second fastest time in history. It was her post-victory celebration, however, that most people remember. Immediately after winning, she jumped on the back of Berlino the Bear, the mascot for the championships, intending to do a victory lap. Unfortunately, Berlino failed to keep his head up and crashed into a cart of hurdles, causing him to drop Walker. Could have been dangerous, but apparently neither one injured. Number five, Stuck Sharky. But we are experiencing a delay, and I can safely say this is a National Hockey League first, I believe. If you go to a San Jose Sharks game, you can expect to see S.J. Sharky entertaining the fans with a number of unique stunts and acts. He's perhaps best known for his grand entrances, typically coming down from the rafters, much to the delight of fans. Things didn't go so smoothly on this particular evening back in 1999, however, as Sharky got stuck hanging over the ice. The game was actually delayed while they tried to get him down, which they finally did by hoisting him back up to the catwalk. Number 4. Tommy Lasorda Confronts the Philly Fanatic That's the quickest Tommy's moved all year. We gotta mark that down. As manager of the Los Angeles Dodgers, Tommy Lasorda won 1,599 games and two World Series titles. And he does not have time for mascots. For example, during one game against the Montreal Expos, Lasorda saw to it that Montreal's mascot Yuppie was ejected from the game. 
but his most famous mascot moment came in 1988. The Philly fanatic was taunting Lasorda with a Lasorda dummy. The Dodgers manager remained calm at first, but eventually snapped and chased down the mascot, throwing him to the ground and taking the dummy for himself. He even got a nice hit in on the fanatic with the dummy before marching off. He said you don't make fun of me or my ball club. Number three, Craig McTavish rips out Harvey the Hound's tongue. Although Craig McTavish failed to lead the Edmonton Oilers to the playoffs in his final three seasons behind the bench, he did manage to take them to the Stanley Cup Finals back in 2006. Even so, he may be best remembered for his actions during a game against the Calgary Flames back in 2003. The Flames mascot, Harvey the Hound, began taunting the Oilers bench. An annoyed McTavish immediately called the mascot over, grabbed his tongue and ripped it out before tossing it into the stands. Calgary won that game, by the way. And you can see that I use my legs and my back and I pull it out like you're starting a lawnmower. Number two, the crazy condor. The condor is out running around at center race. I love it. There's a reason most teams don't use live mascots, and this is it. The Bakersfield Condors of the American Hockey League decided it would be a good idea to bring out a real condor before the game, to perch at center ice. The bird had other ideas, however. It escaped its handler, thanks in part to a timely spill on the ice. The bird eventually made its way over to the benches, hilariously terrifying the fully padded players before deciding to leave the rink entirely. He's going to the locker room. And that didn't exactly go as planned, but it's all good. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. They say the most powerful punches in boxing are the ones that travel the shortest distance. Number one, front flip fail. Not what we would call a uh, picture perfect lander. <laughs> What's better than one mascot making a fool of itself? One mascot making a fool of itself and injuring other mascots in the process. That's exactly what happened when Bernie, the mascot for the Miami Heat, attempted to front flip over a handful of mascots lying on their backs at center court. Unfortunately for those on the ground, Bernie's attempt came up well short, and he landed directly on the final three of the group. The mascot suits may have been smiling, but the guys underneath were clearly in a lot of pain. Oh yeah, they are clearly guys under there. That's about at least, Hopefully, what, 100 pounds landing on you? Mm, maybe more? Hopefully he had some padding. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.